where there's no hedge, the possession is spoiled. So now, to answer your question. I sound like sexism. How is it sexism? I mean, a woman is not my what you looking at is bro, interpretation Bro, hold on. You, you about to take, you about to take away your left. You about to take away your left, bro. We not playing semantics over here. We, we love our wives. So it's not a matter of possession like you're, you're my slave. You're misinterpreting that. But that's not what we're reading. Possession meaning your mind. So you are possession too. Think about it like this, right? You are possession too. No, I'm a possession of the most high God. The problem is equality. See, equality, brother, there's no 50-50. If that's your, that's your, if that's your bottom line question, there is no 50-50. How you doing? My name is Gamliel. What's your name? SL. Sean SL. So you said a lot. And the brother was dealing with you in terms of the border of wickedness, how that's a particular race of people, which is the so-called white man, right. who's Edom in the Bible. That, you can't refute that. Right. So now, you're saying that they learned how to be evil from us. That's not what the Bible says. That's so, right. When you read the that's book of, right. real quick, right? Because when you read the book of Genesis chapter 25, no. you read about two twin boys, Jacob and Esau. Esau is a so-called white race. Jacob is the father of the 12 tribes of Israel. That's right. Right? right. So now when you read about their blessings, it says that Esau would be blessed with the, with the art of war. Mm. So in terms of all the technology and advancements and things like that, like that we have with bombs, with guns, with nuclear weapons, we didn't create the thermonuclear bomb. Right. They created that. That's in the history books. We didn't make the bomb to drop on Hiroshima and Nagasaki. They made that bomb. That's, right. That's their blessing. Right. So now in terms of wickedness, yes, the first man to sin was the black man. When you read the scriptures, it says, you know what? I'm talking a lot. Let's go to the Bible. Let's go to the Surah. Before you move forward. The beginning of sin, through her we all die. Who created the sin? 25, 25, 25. If somebody created the comic book, no. who created the tip? But you got, this is what you have to understand, right? This is what you got to understand. All the spirits that are here on the earth today, all the people that you see walking around, those spirits were with the Lord before they were sent into the earth. So those spirits were wicked before they, before they came here. They didn't just get born and learn. No, those spirits were wicked beforehand. God had a purpose for each spirit. That's what you have to understand. My brother, I'm repenting daily. Read what you got. And it's the book of Sarat, chapter 25. Hold on, the white man cannot do the same thing. Why? Yeah. Repentance is open to Israel. Right? Oh, that's right. right. Give it to the Israelites. How? By the blood of Jesus Christ. Christ came on the scene to die for the nation of Israel. Right. This is Acts chapter 5, verse 31. I'm just paraphrasing. But hold on, hold on. We jumping, bro. We jumping. I don't want to do that. My brother here is listening. My brother here. My brother's over there. They're listening. So let's answer these questions. How did sin come into the world. Read. This is the book of Sirach, chapter 25 and verse 24. Uh -huh. Of the woman came the beginning of sin. What woman was that? That was Eve. Eve, believe it or not, my brother, Eve was a black woman. That's right. Adam was a black man. You know how I know that? Because I read the Bible. In Genesis chapter 2, it says that he was made from the dust of the ground. Right. Right. So, uh, Eve was taken from Adam's rib. She was also a black woman. Right. And through her, we all die. Why? Because she brought sin into the earth. How? By following the other nations. Right. She right. brought it back to Eve. And now, through the woman, we all die. Why? Because simply, Adam did not keep his household in order. He right. followed his wife. Right. Right. So this is what the Bible says. This is the book of Sirach, chapter 36 and verse 24. Yeah. This is what the Bible says about the relationship between a husband and a wife. Read. He that getteth a wife begineth a possession. He that gets a wife begins a possession. She is mine. So now that she's yours, you have responsibilities to tend to because she's your possession. Yeah. Read on. A help like unto himself. A help like unto himself. She's supposed to help you out with things, make things easier. Read on. Another point. A pillar of rest. A pillar of rest, read. With no edges. With, now listen, that's your possession. This is mine. Oh, better yet, better yet, right? I'll use this. This is my Bible. This is my possession. 
if they, if I'm not here to protect my Bible, somebody can take it, somebody can rip the pages, somebody can throw it. You understand the analogy? Read on. Where no hedges, there the possession is spoiled. Where there's no hedge, the possession is spoiled. So now, to answer your question, I sound like sexism. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? How is it sexism? I mean, a woman is not possible. What you looking at is bro, interpretation bro, hold on. You, you about to take, you about to take away and left. You about to take away and left, bro. We not playing semantics over here. Listen, you got to understand something. I'm married. The brother here is married. The brother here is married. The brother there is married. We, we love our wives. So it's not a matter of possession like you're, you're my slave. You're misinterpreting that. But that's not what we're reading. Possession meaning you're mine. So you are Why? Think about it like this, right? You are possession too. Ah, boy, here we go. No, I'm in possession of the Most High God. That's bro, right. Bro. Again, again, hold on, hold on. You're saying a lot of words, bro. Respect no, 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 no. We're reading the Bible. So now that the clear understanding is coming out in terms of answering your questions, you're running. You asked, but, but you're walking away. The problem is equality. See, equality, brother, there's no 50-50. If that's your, that's your, if that's your bottom line question, there is no 50-50 in the Bible. You know? Brother, brother, semantics again. Semantics again. We can read you God's divine order. We're going into the, the into the sub-statutes and laws of marriage. Bro, let's go to 1 Corinthians 11. This week we talk about it. This is the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 11. And verse 3. Uh -huh. yeah. uh -huh. I would have you know. I would have you know, my brother Else, read. That the head of every man is Christ. So now you ask who's my possession? My leader is Jesus Christ. Read on. Right. And the head of the woman is the man. Read on again. And the head of the woman is the man. That's, That's right. God's word. So who was the man? Oh, my brother, did you hear what the Bible said? The man's head is Christ, the woman's head is man. So now, why are you asking another question? You got the answer to your question. You asking another question? That means what I'm taking up, what I'm taking from this conversation is that you're not willing to humble down to the words of God. That's right. I'm just not willing to interpret it to be. Brother, I'm gonna I'm say this: the way that I can, the way that I can determine if you're willing to humble down. But that's not the word of God. So that's that's the issue right there, bro. Okay, so so now it's English words. So now the word of God is in your heart. If that's the case, how come you're not doing no, God's law? Right in your being, first Peter is three and one. If the word of God is in your being, how how come you're not applying the law that says you should not shave your beard? Right. 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 Oh, that was an issue. Oh man. It's all in the box, my brother. It's all in the box. What do you mean? How can I know that the word of God is in your being? How can I know, bro? Think about it. I'm not trying to cut you. I'm being real. How can I know? Yo, you know what's your name? Els? SL. SL, I'm sorry. How can I know that brother SL has the word of God in his being if you don't have a beard like Christ? Right. If you don't have on fringes wow. like Christ? That's right. This is what you're telling me. Listen to what you're telling me. That's what the Bible's telling me. Right. Right. But you said that this is English you're words. You're telling me to live in a box. I'm telling, telling you to keep God's commandments because that's what God said. That's right. Right. Listen, 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 Peter listen, chapter listen, 3 listen, and verse 1. Uh -huh. Likewise, ye wives, be in subjection to your own husbands. So now to go back and answer that other question in terms of possession, how you distorted it. It's not that being in subjection to your own husbands. That's the, this is the order that we must apply. Do you right. know why there's so much chaos in our communities? Yeah. Because the man is not because we keeping it. protection over his head. Oh, he's right. not being the hedge over his possession. That's right. If the man was the hedge and guiding his household right, you wouldn't see those two girls that were here as lesbians. That's right. If the man was doing his job as the hedge over his possession, you would not see little gangbangers, 12 year olds, killing each other. That's right. Right. You wouldn't have drill music. That's right. right. Because the man would know, nah, I'm not, you not, not, not my son, right. you're not my daughter. Right. What? My wife ain't walking out there like that. You want to go where? No, I don't know. That's dangerous over there. Right. right. That's the man's job. But now, because Adam didn't do that in the beginning, check his wife, but he followed her. That's why we're still in sin today. That's, right. Right. That's how right. sin came into the world today. Right. You know what right. sin is? That word get thrown around a lot. What is sin? Bring it out. First John three and four. Let's 
see what city. No, bro, you want it, bro. It gets lonely in the box. It gets lonely in the box. Okay, okay. I'm not even going to go into my words. I'm around If any man speak, let him speak as the oracles of God. I can't get jiggy with that, bro. I respect you as my brother, but I can't respect your philosophy. That's real what you got. It's the book of 1 John, chapter 3 and verse 4. Whosoever committed sin. Whosoever commits sin does what? Transgresses also the law. Transgress means to break. Read on. For sin is the transgression of the law. Sin is the breaking of God's law. That's what sin is. Hey, young sisters. Yup, yup. Those are your daughters? Those are all my daughters. I got 11 children. I, 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 I thought I saw you over there. You're from Strong Island, right? That's what it said. What part of Long Island? Right there. Yeah. All over the island. Okay. Strong Island. Okay. So you should have shown me some love. So, they show, I can't leave it. This, this is what I said. This is what I said. I can't get, I can't respect those philosophies because those are against the Bible. That's right. It's, it's but no, brother. You know what life is? Proverbs 4 and 2. Proverbs chapter 4 verse 2. This is what life is. Listen, bro, that's why I said, if any man speak, let him speak as the oracles of God. I'm not going to use my words. I'm going to speak the Bible. Proverbs chapter 4 and verse 2. If I give you good doctrine, I give you good doctrine, God's law. Forsake ye not my law. I give you good doctrine, forsake ye not my law. Jump down to verse 4. Verse 4. He taught me also and said unto me, uh -huh. Let thine heart retain my words. Verse two, Proverbs 7 and 2. Let your mind retain my words, which is God's law. Why? Because of this reason right here. Read. Proverbs chapter 7 and verse 2. Uh -huh. Keep my commandments and live. Keep my commandments and live. Uh -huh. Now this is what I'm going to say. I prophesied that you bear witness to what I just said. You know who the prophets are? The right. Israelites. Right. Right. You don't even think yourself an Israelite. You can't be a prophet, bro. Right. You gotta teach your daughters the right way, my brother. If you're not the righteous hedge over your daughters, they will be turned out by the evils in society. Nation is men leading by example. Roll